The De Saint Danielli is a phospholipid model of a cell membrane. Defined by the model, a cell membrane is made of a phospholipid bilayer sandwiched between two layers of globular protein. The polar hydrophilic heads of phospholipids are oriented towards the protein layers forming a hydrophilic zone. Consequently, the nonpolar hydrophobic tails of phospholipids are oriented in between polar heads forming a hydrophobic zone. This is phosphide because membranes are bifacial, meaning they have a head and a tail, or two faces, rather than hydrophobic and hydrophilic zones. Also, a protein layer is not likely because its hydrophobic regions would be in an aqueous solution and it would not separate the hydrophilic phospholipid heads from water. A membrane with an outside layer of proteins would be an unstable structure, seeing as proteins need to be studded throughout the cell membrane. It would also not allow for solid particles to pass through the membrane as the proteins would block such functions, all of which causes the cell not to be able to maintain its internal environment in response to environmental changes. Thus, homeostasis would not be able to occur. In contrast to the Davis and Danieli model, the Singer-Nicholson model shows that proteins are dispersed throughout the membrane. It also shows cholesterol, which helps reduce fluidity and permeability of the membrane, so therefore it controls what goes in and out of the cell. This is what the Davis and Danieli model did not consider. It was discovered that proteins are dispersed throughout the membrane through the freeze fracturing technique. This is when the cell is frozen and then fractured, revealing a rough surface which indicates that the proteins are diffused throughout the membrane. The davison Danielli model was also disproved by fluorescent antibody tagging. Fluorescent antibody tagging uses red and green markers attached to antibodies such as glycoproteins, which then bind to membrane proteins seen in the model. When cells fuse together, the markers mix within the membrane of the cell. This shows that membrane proteins are mobile rather than fixed.